base and I often use Beloa Franz essential oils for the mindful horse and rider. Um, and I think I might have a situation where I want to use um, the Colic Magic Oil Blend. And the reason being is that one of our oldest horses um, ate almost the entire bucket of soaked alfalfa that was meant to feed five or six horses. And while it may not be an issue because he does get soaked alfalfa regularly, um, it just might be too much. It could give him an upset stomach. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and give him some of Belova Fawn's essential oils, the Colic Magic Blend, um, and I will show you what his response is as well for that. He had some really nice processing in case you couldn't just see that. Um, plenty of licking and chewing and he really took it in and processed it um, and was engaged the entire time. I think he had at least five lick and chews which is up there like that's a lot for what I normally see with the horse's responses. And I rubbed the rest in onto his neck area because as you can see he has a blanket on. Um, and his belly is probably really muddy right now. <laughs> um, and I also just kind of like figured if there's any excess, I'll get it onto the chest part of his blanket so that um, he's going to go investigate my gloves on the ground right now. <laughs> but I tried to get any leftover also onto the chest part of his blanket so that maybe he can continue to breathe it in and smell it. Um, but I, I hope it makes a difference. At the very least, it's preventative care, and I'm all about that. And he's getting some water now, which is really good. He wasn't heading over for water before I, I did that, so I'm glad he's drinking. Fern just finished drinking a lot of water, which I'm really happy to see. And um, while it's kind of hard to tell with the way that he walks in general, just from being how old he is, and having the arthritis that he does in this really cold, muddy, gross weather. Um, I do think that this oil still has the potential to really help him, um, especially when there's the possibility of colic. Um, so we will see how he feels tomorrow. Um, and if we need a vet, then we need a vet, but at the moment he's not showing any specific signs of colic. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on him. Oh, he just pooped as well. Hey, sneakers. <laughs> Fern just pooped, so rude. Fern just pooped. <laughs> um, really good sign that he's feeling okay. Um, and he's coming over to say bye. You wanna say bye? He says bye. He says thank you, Belarifon Essential Oils. <laughs> <laughs> 